Every episode here at Hacker Warehouse TV, we do a segment on a key piece of gear that you should definitely have in your toolkit. Most of the products that we cover are available at our shop over at HackerWarehouse.com. Just click on the product below at any time during the segment to pick one up today. Okay, so let's get to it. This time, we're going to be talking about the HackRF and the PortaPak add-on board. So first, a few things to know about the HackRF and the PortaPak. HackRF is a software-defined radio transceiver that can transmit or receive most any radio signal from 1 MHz to 6 GHz, powered via USB, and is compatible with any antenna with an SMA mail connector. The PortaPak is an add-on for the HackRF that allows you to use the unit without a PC. It includes a screen, a jog dial, and a GUI for easy use in the field. Note that you will need a portable USB power source to use the PortaPak HackRF setup. We were fortunate enough to arrange some time with PortaPak's creator, Jared Boone at DEF CON. Check it out. Hey, I'm Troy with Hacker Warehouse TV, and today we're here at DEF CON 24 in Vegas with Jared Boone. Morning, Jared. Howdy. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you, what do you do, and why are you here today? Uh, my name is Jared Boone. Uh, I am a software-defined radio obsessive. Uh, I've been working on software-defined radio for six, seven years now, and uh, developing a product that is a completely portable SDR that you can carry around without having to tether to your computer. So tell us a little bit about your SDR and what it does. So it's built on top of a HackRF and has an LCD screen, mechanical, mechanical controls, uh, micro SD card, audio I.O., and a battery to keep real time. Uh, you know, calendar time. And with that, you can develop uh, a lot of different SDR applications. Right now, the firmware will do demodulation of analog modes like AM, FM, wideband FM. It'll do spectrum analysis, give you about 18 megahertz for the spectrum at once that you can see in the waterfall. Uh, there are also some digital modes that I've introduced more recently that will decode boat transponders, uh, tire pressure monitors from some types of cars, and what's uh, 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 the other thing? Uh, oh, power meter. So, uh, like gas and electricity. There's one particular flavor that I've implemented so far. There's another flavor that I haven't gotten to yet, but should be pretty easy to implement. Awesome. Well, if we were to look at the device, so it's called the PortaPak, and it has a big screen on it. Can you tell us a little bit about how it adds benefits to the HackRF? Oh, well, so, so the HackRF, you plug it into a laptop ordinarily and run a software like GNU Radio, GPRX, SDR Sharp, that kind of stuff. And, you know, you're kind of, if you're out in the field and you see an interesting signal, some antenna sticking up somewhere, and you're wondering, what is that? Thing? Pulling out your laptop, plugging in the USB cable, kind of juggling all this stuff while you build up some new radio flow graph to go and dissect, or at least capture the signal. It's a bit painful, and also maybe a little suspicious. Yeah, I think that there's, people are going to call it Yeah, yeah. They see your break out audio. Now, I wouldn't say this is not suspicious, but it's less suspicious. Well, it's um, about the size of just a scanner, right? yeah, yeah. a handheld scanner. When you first went out to make this device, what was the intent? What was the grand idea of making the core pack? What was the primary reason you wanted to make it? Uh, to some extent, I, I'm just sort of a radio romantic. Uh, in fact, I still listen to FM radio stations over the air. There's something romantic about these signals just coming through the ether and being able to pull them out of this giant mess of noise and translate them through certain mathematical equations, and suddenly you get the data. Yeah. And it's just something amazing about that, that you know you don't really get in the wired technology. Um, you know, Wi-Fi and all that stuff is so complicated that there's it's kind of... So a lot of these sensor technologies and, and, and other radio technologies are so simple to deal with and so simple to, to hack that it's, it's a lot of fun to just be able to tease them apart. Um, it's so easy. And so security for wireless technologies, because of the fact that they're usually no more complex than necessary, yeah. is usually really, really bad. That, that's so great. Uh, I made it purely out of passion just to get it out there. And all the different applications that people are doing with it now is really incredible. Now, tell us about your new firmware. So you just dropped the new firmware for DEF CON. What's new in that group? Uh, I, I wanted to be able to capture a lot of the stuff that I was able to receive before. So there's a, a micro SD card slot and a pop card in there now. You can record the audio from AM, FM, Wideband, FM transmissions again to record in a separate mode just raw baseball. So if you wanted to just record 500 kilohertz with a spectrum and sort it out later, 
just hit a button and now you're recording that base to the SD card, get back to your office or home, pop that card out, put it on your computer, run it through the software like a Spectrum, online, Green Radio, and start to figure out what is the signal, what's going on here. And then you could go and write some firmware or develop a phone grab, Green uh, Radio, bring that back to the signal source and start to you know, you, be almost done when you go back to the signal source and try again. Do you watch online like all the YouTube videos that people put out there of working with your device? Have you seen any of those or been impressed yep. with any of them? Well, so uh, Furtech, one of the first things that he posted was uh, he implemented RDS transmission. So RDS is a signal that's embedded in FM broadcast signals. Ah, yeah, that's digital what, radio. Yeah, so when you when you got a radio receiver and it shows the name of the, the station and the song that's playing, all that, yeah. that's all coming through RDS. Okay. Uh, he um, he provided a, a way on the screen to type in a message, yeah. and then he went into his car and transmitted the message, and it came up on the radio. And of course, it was dick butt. To, uh, <laughs> well, out of all messages, you know, that's an alternative to Hello World. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's, that's the hacker yeah. equivalent of Hello World. That's right, World. and that was in France, right? So it's totally legal there, I'm sure. Yep. yep. Okay. Yeah, well, right, it's right. not one of the seven deadlies, right? Uh, that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm I'm totally ADD when it comes to this stuff. So if anyone wants to contact me and say that. They're interested in something in particular. Yeah, I'm all about it. And it's all open source, right? Yep. So if anybody wants to go out there and try to hack their way into a new module, um, yep. it's all out there on your website, right? Yep. Now tell us a little bit about. So if there's new code or anything like that that you're going to put out for this device, where can we find it? So ah, give okay. us your contact info. Uh, so the repository for the project is at GitHub, GitHub.com/sharebrained. It's okay. like hairbrained with an S on the front. Uh, slash portapack dash hackrf. It's kind of long. But um, that's the that's the repo. I've also got a website that's just sharebrained.com. Sharebrained and everything you know yeah. that links to all the good stuff. Um, I'm also in IRC on Freenode under Portapack, P-O-R-T-A-P-A-C-K. Yeah. And then uh, I also got an email address floating around there somewhere. If you look just a little bit, yeah. If you're not a bot, okay, uh, it's easy to find. All right. Well, again, we're talking with Jared Boone. He is the creator of the Portapack for the Hack RF. Uh, we're here at DEF CON 24. Uh, please, if you have any questions for Jared or you want him to add anything to his code or have modules that you think would be interesting, add it in our comments below. Um, like and subscribe. Again, I'm Troy with Hacker Warehouse TV. Jared, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks again to our good friend, Jared Boone. Culture, training, gear, and trade craft for InfoSec professionals. Hacker Warehouse TV. Some of you with keen eyes will have noticed myself and our producer Brian at DEF CON 24 last month.